Hey friends, it's the December real estate market report update for Bonita Springs and Estero, Florida. First of all, Merry Christmas. Christmas is just a few weeks away, so we may not have a chance to update you before Christmas. I did want to go over some of the current numbers, what's going on, and where things are looking really good. I'll uh, overlay some graphs here that show you that we have um, no foreclosures, no short sales for active listings at this time. We also have no short sales or foreclosures that closed last month. So we're pretty uh, doing pretty well with the equity of real estate. What we are seeing still in this area is the days on market versus list price. And as you look at this graph, you'll see the, the blue line is the list price. So the list prices are still kind of stable, going up, bouncing around just a small amount. The days on market uh, has crept up to about 20 days. Now this is an average across the area. Uh, this, you know, pointedly, neighborhood by neighborhood, this is very, very different, which means there are some neighborhoods that have days of inventory, almost no inventory whatsoever. And there are other neighborhoods that do have a little bit of choice, avoiding buyers a little bit of time to perhaps have those financing contingencies. So that fevered pitch of people fighting over the real estate, um, you know, removing all these contingencies, removing home inspections, et cetera. Those days are gone, um, but it is still a pretty busy real estate market. We are seeing many properties on, um, on the market for seven to 20 days. Uh, if they're on much longer than that, it is a pricing issue or some other sort of issue that uh, bears some investigating. Now, one of the things that's really interesting is to look at the historical sales. When you look at this graph, you're looking back at November year over year, going backwards all the way to 2011. And you can see 2020 was like just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. 2022 is low, 207. And part of that is because of Hurricane Ian. We had quite a storm come through Category 4, almost a 5 when it hit the coast. So there was a lot of damage. There was a lot of power outages. There was a lot of debris. It was not conducive to people coming down here to shop recreational for real estate. Uh, the beaches are still closed. Our beaches are still closed. Um, so if you're coming here, look, it's gonna be 80, 85 degrees at a swimming pool. They are still filtering the sand at the beaches. They are still trying to rehab some of the condos at the beaches. Many of these condos will not have electric. They will not be electrified and habitable until later next year. It was catastrophic loss on the beach. Uh, make no mistake about that. All that added up to lower sales in um, November. Uh, we'll see a bump in sales again as uh, the, the population has picked up, the vacationers are back, the seasonal residents are back, and we'll see more sales taking off after this. Uh, what you will see also is our cash sales last month. Not bad, 64% cash. Uh, cash is king and it still is in real estate. Uh, we don't have people writing those cash contracts the way they were, but still getting financing with, you know, that loophole kind of being a little bit in question. People are writing a finance deal. So if you are a buyer looking to purchase real estate and you were hoping to finance, we have less sellers that are pushing back on that. We even have some sellers accepting other contingencies, sale of home, et cetera, uh, because the market has changed. It's still short supply, but sellers now have to uh, concede a little bit. In addition, uh, I did take this graph that is the list, the sale price versus the list price. So what you can see is what uh, the actual closed sale price is by looking at that ratio. And we're closing about 80 or 98% off of list price. So some properties go at list, some properties still go a little over list. It's all supply and demand. And then there are some where people are actually negotiating. Part of that negotiation right now can include uh, some closing cost expenses. Most importantly, anybody that is financing, there are some opportunities for contributions to buy down the interest rate. So that's a little uh, thing that can be done for buyers to help you get a better interest rate, uh, if not long-term, sometimes short-term for the next uh, two or three years, depending on the lender's financing program. Right now, most of our sales, that blue section, the green section, and the orange section, that would be everything that is priced under 600,000, which is almost 70% of our market right now. So just keep that in mind, the more affordable real estate is, the more demand there is for it. We don't have a lot of rentals here, and you have to imagine right now, the amount of rentals on the beach that just vanished because the, the buildings are not habitable. There's no electric going to many of the buildings down there and many of the private residences even. So all of those rentals 
were consumed. Many people who lost their primary residence moved into rentals. We had a rental shortage before that hurricane. We have a rental shortage now that's even more amplified because people needed to find rentals. And now all those people who had rentals booked on the beach had their rentals canceled. So keep that in mind. You are not just competing with people that want to purchase a home. There are people that wanted to rent also that are looking at inexpensive real estate Doing a little math saying, hey, if we were going to spend money on a rental, uh, $25,000 on a rental, we'll just use that as a down payment and we'll have a little getaway. And that's what's happening in many circumstances. You are competing with people that are looking for a place to winter over. Now, as far as what's going on here locally, I just did the absorption rates citywide between Bonita Springs and Estero. All types of real estate, we're at about four months of inventory. Again, there are some places where there's just weeks of inventory. There are some places where there's several months of inventory. It's all relative to the market. So whether you are a home seller or a home buyer, uh, give us a call. We'd love to let you know exactly what the numbers are for the neighborhood you're looking in because these numbers are important to you. As a home seller, you don't want your property to go stale. You don't want any sort of price decrease to pull your property down. Um, I'll give you an example. There's a neighborhood where I'm watching townhomes. There's a couple of townhomes priced at $515,000. They've been on the market for quite a while now, well over 30 days, um, which proves that maybe that price isn't the best price for that. Another townhome just came on the market at five ten. dollars they only went 500 below market. Now, if I was the listing agent on that one, I'd be like, when do you need to sell this and do we want to eat their lunch? 515 didn't do it. If those people wanted to purchase those properties at 510, they'd already be sold. 510 isn't going to do it. So, you know, my advice to people involved in that circumstances is you're going to have to hop ahead because those have already proved that buyers are not willing to pay that price in that neighborhood. And it goes both ways, whether you're a seller trying to sell your property at that price or a buyer trying to purchase at that price, there are numbers and statistics that'll make sure that number one, you aren't underselling and number two, you aren't leaving money on the table, whichever direction of the transaction you're going. Give us a call. We'd like to work you through some of these numbers so that you're making the best, most informed decisions for you. As far as what's going on in Southwest Florida, keep touch with us. We're, uh, you know, doing restaurant reviews, touring beaches, uh, touring the area, and just putting up a lot of different items on TikTok and on short shorts on YouTube. So if we can help you learn more about the area or if there's something you'd like us to do a video for, just make a request. We're always doing a request for folks just to make sure that you know what's going on in Southwest Florida, no matter where you are in the world. Look forward to hearing from you.